Hey guys, good evening and welcome back again to your Unacademy Need English channel. I hope all of you are doing amazing, all of you are doing great. So my dear students, in this particular session, I am exactly going to be talking about the dream college for all the NEET aspirants. That is AIMS, particularly AIMS Delhi, right? So first of all, let me tell you, this year, this year almost, the cutoff for AIMS will be 710 out of 720, right? And there will be almost 200 students who will be getting into the AIMS, right? Now the point is, those 200 students who get into AIMS through this NEET examination, what do they exactly do? Do they follow some other study material, right? Do they have some other strategy, right? Do they have some other approach when it comes to the preparation? In this particular session, I'm going to talk about all those things in detail. Right? I would want you guys to be with me till the end. Okay? So people, first of all, AIMS, you know, it is every medical aspirant's dream. Everyone wants to uh, pursue their MBBS in the AIMS. But there are only selective students who get the chance, who get the privilege of studying into AIMS. Right? What is the reason for that? Why the cutoff goes so high? Right? How come these 200 students, how come they get more than 710 marks when it comes to the NEET examination and eventually land into the dream college? What do they do exactly? Do they follow some other things? Do they uh, have different approach when it comes to the preparation? Right? What exactly their strategy is? My dear students, the first and the most important point. If you want to get into AIMS, first of all, you have to make up your mind that you will have to get 720 out of 720. That looks massive. But these 200 to 300 people, they do it. If they can do it, you can do it too. Right? So first of all, make up your mind that you are going to do all the questions, all the questions correctly, be it physics, chemistry and biology, when it comes to the NEET 2025 examination. Now, it takes a lot of efforts to do all the questions correctly. Right? Right, people? Now the point is, what exactly these students do? My dear students, the first and the most important point, which you have to take into consideration, right? After talking to so many AIMS students, I just got to know one thing. These students who get into AIMS, they do not complete their syllabus only once. They complete their syllabus minimum three times in a particular year. For example, the students, right, who have made, make, made up their mind that they are going to get into AIMS through NEET 2025 examination. They have started their preparation. They have started their preparation. They have only one thing in their mind, right? That is AIMS Delhi, right? Now, whatever it takes to get into AIMS Delhi, they are going to do that. And the first and the most important thing to get into AIMS Delhi is not to complete your syllabus only once. They will try to complete their syllabus minimum three times in this year. Now you must be thinking, is that actually possible to complete the syllabus in, uh, to complete the syllabus three times in this year? I would say yes, it is completely possible, right? Do not look at the broader perspective. Do not look at the bro broader perspective. I know you must be thinking there are almost 80 chapters which you have to complete. And those 80 chapters are to be completed three times in this year. Is that possible? It looks massive, but it's not. If you break it into the weekly targets, for example, just to make you understand, just to make you understand. First of all, first of all, my dear students, you need to start your preparation now. You are not supposed to take any pause, right? You are not supposed to take any pause. Now, as I kept on telling you all the time, complete your syllabus, complete your syllabus, complete your 80 chapters in just six months. You know, you've got 12 months left till your examination, but, but, but starting from now, in just six months, you will have to complete your syllabus once. Okay. Now, is it possible to complete the syllabus once? Yes, my dear students, the answer is a big yes. Okay. See, three months you have to give for the completion of class 11th syllabus of PCB. And another three months you have to give for your class 12th syllabus, right, for PCB. Perfect. So, in six months, you will be completing your first revision. In six months, you'll be completing your whole syllabus. Right? How exactly you are supposed to do that? That's something also I'll let you know in this session. Now, after these six months, two months, you can kept for the revision. You can kept for the revision. That means you are completing the syllabus again in these two months. Right? One month, one month should be there for the full syllabus mock test. 
so in total six to eight one nine so out of 12 months nine months are over right and in these nine months you have complete the syllabus two times first six months for the first syllabus completion right then two months for the revision which means again you are doing the syllabus completion in detail that's why i've kept two months one month is for the full full syllabus mock test right and the 10th month and the 10th month you are again going to do the revision you're again going to complete the, your syllabus right now the speed with which you are going to complete the syllabus third time it will be definitely more that's why i have kept only one month for the third syllabus completion first syllabus completion has to be done in six months second syllabus completion has to be done in two months and the third syllabus completion has to be done in one month that's how your aim students that's how those students who get into aims that's what they do that's what they do and it is attainable guys it can be done how exactly if you look at the smaller perspective in your class 11 there are almost 38 chapters so when i talk about the first syllabus completion right i told you in the beginning the first three months are to be given to your class 11th or class 12th syllabus completion right for example you start with class 11th three months 39 chapters looks huge one month that means in one month you have to do 13 chapters again looks huge but if you again break it into the weekly target in one week only three and a half chapters you have to do only three and a half chapters you have to do in a week now is it difficult is it difficult it is not difficult it is attainable right and my dear students do not think that you have to complete 80 chapters in six months do not think that just just you need to make the weekly target you need to know what three and a half chapters you are supposed to complete this week just follow that just try to accomplish that and when once this week target is done then go for the next week then go for the next week do not think that you have to complete 80 chapters if you think in that manner nothing will happen but if you think in this manner that in one week you just have to complete three and a half chapters it looks possible it is possible right it looks easy perfect so why do you want to look at the hard things when you can accomplish easy things and by accomplishing easy things you can complete the hard things eventually right so first of all first of all the first six months are to be given for the first syllabus completion round followed by two months revision second completion round right uh then one month for the full syllabus mock test then both then one more one month then one more month for the for one more revision so three times you are completing your syllabus basically right and this is something which you will only follow if you really want to get into aims if you really want to get into the most prestigious college across the country right then only you can do this and my dear students it looks now i'm pretty much sure it looks easy but it needs a lot of hard work you will have to study for eight to ten hours a day throughout this year and if you are willing to do that then go ahead who is stopping you nobody right every student can get into the aims every student i'm telling you it's not extraordinary students going to the aims no every students who are willing to perform the hard work who have got clear mind who are focused who are motivated who know exactly how to avoid the distractions they are the ones who get into the aims right and my dear students the tag of aims once you get into the aims when you get that tag that's a different feeling trust me that's a different feeling right the way students get the iit tag that's a different feeling in the similar way in the medical profession those students who get the aims tag right there's a different aura associated with them once they enter into the college right okay now people now 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 what all things you need to keep into consideration as i keep on telling you as i keep on telling you since i told you you have to complete your syllabus three times in this year right and how do you complete it when you complete the syllabus for the first time just have few things in mind when you start a chapter start the lecture first of all do its note making right you are supposed to make the notes do not rely on the pdfs whatever questions your teacher would have solved in the session solve the same questions again without seeing the solution then go for the authentic dpp solving right once you are done with the dpp solving read ncrt in all the subjects all the subjects not only in bio now since you are going to enter into aims right you have to read ncrt in bio physics as well as chemistry you cannot let a single thing go no way after reading the ncrt this is something which is really important solve ncrt in text as well as exercise questions all of them chapter wise 
okay then go for the pyq solving minimum 10 to 15 year pyqs of your neat as well as je mains you are supposed to do right and my dear students every week from now onwards in a week at least once you have to write the test so since you are completing three and a half chapters in a week right so you have to write the test for those three and a half chapters in that week itself that's how you'll get the confidence that yes you have accomplish something yes you have studied three and a half chapters yes if a question comes from those three and a half chapters you will kill those questions for sure right and these tests they will exactly let you know right where the weakness lies and once you get to know where the weakness lies then it's going to be your turn to act upon those weaknesses and convert those weaknesses into the strengths yeah and this is how you are going to complete your first syllabus completion in six months. This is something which you will follow for the first six months. For the first six months, this is the plan, right? And then when you go for the revision, when you go for the revision, for revision, I'll kept two months, right? For the revision, you need not to do anything else. Again, the same procedure. Now you do not have to use a lot of pen and paper, right? You do not have to watch the lectures again. It is just whatever notes you have made, just read them again. Solve the same questions again. Solve the same DPV again. Do not change the material. Do not change the material. Right? Go for the NCRT reading again. Keep on highlighting things. Solve NCRT exercise and in-text questions again. Solve the same PYQs again. And, and now you are not supposed to write the chapter-wise test in the revision part. In the revision part. Correct? So my point of saying is, first syllabus, first six months for the entire syllabus completion. The second time when you do the syllabus again, at that time, you are not supposed to watch the lectures. So you are saving the time. That's why the two months, that's why I have kept two months for the revision here. Okay. Right. Now, my dear students, as I told you, you are not supposed to follow a lot of books. Whatever study material you are following, follow, follow the same thing again and again, again and again, again and again. Do not keep on changing the books. Do not keep on changing the material. Do not do that. Right. Analyzing the mock test score is really important because once you write the chapter wise test right after that you need to analyze the score so that you get to know where the problem lies where the fault lies and the time right and then it's going to be your turn to rectify those problems okay now my dear students how exactly we are going to help you out in order to achieve this dream of aims how come we are going to help you out in order to crack the aims in one complete year right my dear students the similar way whatever things i've told you Whatever plan I told you, whatever strategy I told you, right? Based on the same strategy, we have designed a particular batch. That is your Phoenix 2.0 Neat English batch, which will be mentored by me. I am going to be the mentor in this particular batch and I will keep on letting you all the time throughout the year, throughout this preparation phase, where you are lagging, what to do, what not to do, right? So weekly, there'll be one-on-one -on -one interactions between you and me so that I will keep you updated about where you exactly are lagging, right? By seeing and analyzing your test scores. That's something which I will do in this year, right? In this Phoenix 2.0 Neat English batch. I shall be completing your whole chemistry. Yawar sir will be taking care of your physics. Ambika ma'am and Pankhudi ma'am, they'll be taking care of your complete biology in the similar manner. The kind of plan which I gave you, same plan we are going to follow here in this particular batch. So that, so that, so that you can score more than 710 when it comes to your NEET 2025 examination. And eventually we see you all wearing that white coat and entering the aims. If you are ready to do that, if you are really serious, if you are really serious, then this is the batch for you guys. Then this is the batch for you. Otherwise not. Otherwise do not waste your money and time for this. If you are serious, if you are dedicated, if you are willing to give your 100%, if you are willing to follow us completely and blindly, then I would request all of you to join this batch. Otherwise, don't. Otherwise, don't. Right? Now, people, what about this particular batch? It is starting on 18th of May. 18th of this month, we are starting the batch. Number one. Number two, as I told you, the first syllabus completion is done in six months. Right? Two months we have kept for revision in this batch. And we are the ones who are going to do all these things. One month we have kept for full syllabus mocks. Study material we are going to provide you. You are not supposed to follow any other study material. We are going to provide you the study material and you have to follow that one only. Right? We are going to provide you the DPPs. You are not supposed to solve any random DPPs. The DPPs which we will provide you, you just have to solve them. 
we have scheduled chapter wise tests on every Sunday. Every Sunday you'll be writing the test. Every Sunday you'll be writing the test, right? And we'll be analyzing your test scores. And once we analyze your test scores, then I'll have one-on-one -on -one interaction with you and let you know where you need to focus more, right? And PYQ solving sessions are already included, right? We have scheduled uh, PYQ solving sessions after we do, after we complete a particular chapter. After we complete a particular chapter, then there'll be a PYQ solving session as well, as well, in which we shall be discussing 10 to 15 year PYQs of NEET and J mains with all of you. So you need not to worry about that as well, right? And what about the schedule of the classes? There'll be three classes every day scheduled in this batch. One for physics, one for chemistry, one for biology. Every session will be of the duration 1.5 hours, right? Okay. And my dear students, if by chance you were not able to, if by chance you were not able to, Join the live session. The recordings are also provided. And my dear students, the best part, the best part, which I love the most in this batch, you'll be having the access to all the batches of an academy. For example, for example, this is the first batch where this is the team who's going to train you, right? That is the neat English team. If you want to study in English, this is the batch for you, right? Okay, this is one more batch. You'll, you'll be having the free access to this particular batch as well. If you join the Phoenix 2.0 English batch, this particular batch, you'll be having the free access. And these are the educators. You know them all already. These are the educators there. Similarly, there is one more batch, right? You'll be having the access to this particular batch as well. Perfect. Trained by these particular set of teachers. Similarly, similarly, this is, this is one more batch whose free access you'll get. And these are the educators who are going to train you here. Similarly, if you want to get trained, by this particular team, this is one more team. The batch access of this particular team, you will also have that too free, right? And similarly, if you want to get trained, particularly in Hindi language, then this is the, this is the team who is going to help you in that. So basically, my point is, basically, my point is, we have got different teams, basically. We have got different teams. And if you enroll into the Phoenix 2.0 Neat English batch, you'll be having the access to all these batches, right? All these batches absolutely free of cost, right? Okay, so my dear students, right after this particular video, I would want all of you to join this Phoenix 2.0 Neat English batch, right? Because there are there is right now 50% off going on and the cost is really going to hike up. What you need to exactly do? There's a link in the description box of the video. That is one year subscription for Neat UG. You just need to click on that link. Once you click on that link, over here you have to select either plus or iconic. Now, what is the difference between plus subscription and iconic subscription? My dear students, in plus subscription, you get study material in the form of PDF. You get DPPs in the form of PDF. While in case of iconic subscription, you get study material as well as, as, well as DPPs in the form of booklets. And those booklets will reach your home through couriers from an academy side, right? That is the main and major difference between plus and iconic. And in iconic, there are some extra benefits as well. Some extra benefits as well, right? So like more one-on-one -on -one mentorship programs, more one-on-one -on -one mentorship programs will be in Iconic, right? So here you have to select 12 months, use the code WSSIM, click on proceed to pay. And once you click on proceed to pay, here you have to put your mobile number or you can continue with your email on which you get the OTP and everything. And eventually you'll get enrolled in Phoenix 2.0 Neat English batch. And once you enroll into that particular batch, once you get enrolled into that particular batch, you will be having the access to all the six batches of an academy absolutely free of cost. And my dear students, the plan which I gave you in our batch, Phoenix 2.0 Neat English batch, we are exactly follow, going to follow the same plan that I gave you a few minutes back, which is required for a student, right, to score 710 plus when it comes to the Neat 2025 examination. So do enroll as soon as possible. Do enroll as soon as possible. Perfect. I'll see you all in the live sessions. Till then, you guys take care. God bless you all. Love you all. And do let me know if you have any sort of queries or, uh, or, or doubts related to this particular batch in comments. So take care. God bless you all. And love you all, guys. Bye-bye.